so an intriguing clash. Rovers in the pink strip, about to get this one underway through the boot of Mikey Lewis. He hits it high, it's spiralling. It's caught by the former Hull FC winger, Adam Swift, and he's met on the Huddersfield 10 on tackle one. Tackle five already signalled, so Mikey Lewis gets lots of heights on that kick. It's challenged for by Rovers and Huddersfield spill it. Mikey Lewis is going for the line. Huddersfield are going to drag him out, but surely we'll go back to the mistake from Huddersfield. There was no advantage there to Rovers. Mikey Lewis pops it into the base. Litton throws it long to May. The link. Oh, chance now! Joe Burgess strides in in the right-hand corner. That's his debut try in the colours of Hull Kingston Rovers. It was well worked from the move, from the set move from the scrum. 4-0 to the Robins. Tyrone May heavily involved, as was Nile Levels and... Well, Burgess has made a career of scoring tries, hasn't he? And that's his first four-pointer. And with three and a half minutes gone, Rovers lead this game by four points to nil. Just messing around at the play, the ball there was Swift. Tyrell May has got lots of height and hang on that. Connor's lost it. Knock on, straight away. It's that's mouthing off at the referee. Can't help himself, can he, Drake Connor? The ball came loose, it's a knock on. Desperately defending on that far side as it was Tanganoa again. Lewis Jinkin can't force his way over Mikey Lewis. Perhaps not the best option, that one. Jake Connor again getting involved as Rovers shoot the line and put real pressure on Huddersfield and they've got the repeat set by Dr Oh, they're claiming a try! They're claiming a try! The, has the ball come loose and has a Rovers hand dropped on it? What's the decision on the field? No try on the field. Impossible for us to see from our commentary position, so it's all going to be on the video. Referees say so. But if Huddersfield tried to keep it alive and Rovers got on it... The Rovers players, well, they were really confident that they'd scored. Whatever happens, Rovers will get the ball back, but could it be their second try of the game? It, can, it does come out. It does come out. And Jez Litton could be the scorer. Video referee awards it. So we may well go open side. Litton finds Lewis. Lewis has got height on the kick. Oh, it's caught! That's a try! Petter Hiku. He rose highest. They're just saying what a big man he was, and he proved it there. And what early in the second half, just as they did in the first, Hulkingston Rovers strike first. And they lead the Huddersfield Giants now by 12 points to nil. <laughs> On the last, can we gather the shape? You can see now levels back in the instructions from that fullback role. Oh, they've gone without it. Much to the delight of the Rovers fans. James Batchelor punches the air. The Rovers players celebrating what, in effect, is a defensive win. An unforced error from the home side yet again. 
getting involved and allowing Dean Hadley to have another charge forward. Here he is again, the skipper. May, good delayed pass. Evolds, he's got pace. Oh, he's got pace, okay. He's gone round the outside. It's play on. That's play on. Hiku goes in for number two for him in the second half. Great pace from Niall Evolds. We're going to go upstairs to the video referee, but that looks like Huddersfield knocked it towards their own line and Hiku was the beneficiary. Thirteen second half minutes gone. Great play from Niall Evolds, wasn't it? He got away. He pushed the ball back inside. It all depends on what happens here. That's a Huddersfield hand. That's a Huddersfield hand. He's gone try on field as Tom Grant, so I think he knows. He's just making sure, isn't he? If we go to the ground in, it's definitely going to be given. Hiku gets it. Hiku grounds it. And Rovers surely have moved on to 18-0. The try is awarded. A second half double from Petter Hiku. Rovers with a 20-0 lead can just put on some set moves here, you feel. Evolds. Oh, Ryan Hall will go in. Niall Evolds. Huddersfield is really struggling to cope with him, aren't they? Every time he links in. 61 minutes played, Ryan Hall goes in in the left-hand side. 24 nil to Rovers, game over, dead and buried. And Hull Kingston Rovers fans are in full voice now. Rovers are defending with 12 at this moment in time as Huddersfield try to stretch them on that left edge. They're coming back this way. Oh, and they'll go in with Nagama underneath the sticks. Huddersfield have their first points of the game. The former St. Helens man, Kevin Nagama, the sensor races in underneath the uprights. 66 minutes played. Lower here, moves to Connery, disguises the pass, Swift for the corner, Swift will cross, Huddersfield have their second, it's coming the 76th minute, may just end up being consolation that but I think Willie Peters may have something to say to his side about making sure they don't switch off. Connor is virtually on the touchline. He's giving it a good clout. The flags are raised. Connor two from two. Let's not forget though, Rovers have missed three conversions so this could easily have been more comfortable as it is 
with three and a half minutes remaining, it's a 12-point advantage. Track 